Uh, we continue solving programming challenges in the book starting out with Java. We are in chapter 9, programming challenge 2. And this programming challenge, um, we have to create a class called a shift operator that would inherit uh, from the employee class um, that we created uh, in last uh, programming challenge. So we will extend we will extend uh, employee class. So they said the shift operator has uh, two fields. The first field is um, salary. Annual uh, salary. And the Next uh, field is a production bonus for the year. So we will create um, a shift operator uh, constructor. It will take um, annual salary and it will take it will also take a uh, production uh, bonus and um, I, I forgot to include the other uh, fields so we're gonna say generate constructor and um, I don't need this. Um, so the constructor uh, of this uh, class shift operator takes um, the three fields that we inherited from uh, this class, employee class. Uh, that is uh, the name of the employee, the employee number, and the hire date, and then we add uh, two more fields, which are annual salary and the uh, production uh, bonus. So we have to check inside the constructor, we have to check if the production uh, bonus is less than um, or equal to zero. So if that is uh, the case, we will say error a bonus cannot uh, be negative or zero or dollar uh, zero, and then we we exit the, the program else. Uh, we just uh, copy this. Now we copy. We copy this and paste it here. We also have to check um, the annual uh, salary as well, less than or equal to zero. And if that is the case, if it's a negative number, we say annual uh, salary cannot be negative. And then we exit the program altogether. And else, if the user enters the right number, then we want to set it to uh, the annual salary. After that, we have to create the the, great, uh, the getters and setters for this class. Generate getter and setter, and um, you have to make sure the set uh, the setters uh, set uh, production We will we will copy this and in the set uh, production bonus we will paste it here 
and we will remove this. We want to check if it's uh, if the bonus is negative or not. And we also copy this from the constructor, the annual salary. And um, we have to paste it here in the set uh, annual salary to check um, if the if the number is uh, negative or not. So I think we, we finished. We created the two uh, fields, annual salary and the bonus. Um, and we created the getters and setters for these two fields. And um, the constructor, we inherited th these three uh, fields, the name, the employee name, number, and the hire date. And we added the other two uh, fields. So we have to create a method to, to check our work. And um, we'll create a shift supervisor cl uh, class or, or uh, instance call shift shift supervisor it will take um, five uh, five arguments the first would be the employee name we'll call mike this would be employer number we'll call one two three ac and this uh, will be higher date uh, 0, 01 uh, 1988 and um, this one would be annual um, salary so we'll say uh, 40,000 and lastly we want to uh, we want to uh, add a bonus let's say uh, for the production uh, worker he will get a $500 bonus if he or she meets the production goal. So after we create the instance of the shift uh, supervisor, you have to print it. Say employee name, say shift get Get employee name and you say employee number shift uh, can you see like how um, how we can get access to these methods uh, get uh, number get employee number and get name even though we haven't created it here in this um, in this class, the reason we are getting access to these uh, methods is because we inherited from the employee class here, right? What whatever methods that the employee class has, um, the shift operator class also has an access to it, because the shift operator class is a is a child of employee class. It's a subsection of employee class when it, when it, in it in, inherits it. Then we say employee hire date, then shift um, hire date, and um, you want employee uh, salary. And uh, we need we need a way to format um, the the currency. So we say decimal format number sign number sign comma three number sign period zero zero to format the the dollar. So we say df format. Then we say shift. Get um, salary, annual salary, 
and uh, lastly you say employee um, uh, bonus um, df format uh, shift get bonus so we created all five uh, five uh, things that we wanted so we uh, run the program and see if we got it right as you can see the employee I, I made a mistake in the first one instead of saying get employee name I called the number employee number I want employee name let's run it again so the employee name is Mike uh, their employee number is one two three dash AC uh, the hire date is January 1st 1988 and the salary is uh, $40,000 and the bonus is uh, 500 so let's check um, let's change the the salary let's say the employee made negative 1100 would that uh, cut uh, the the program or no error annual salary cannot be negative how about uh, the bonus will it catch a negative number a bonus cannot be negative how about uh, the other uh, fields if we change the employee number see as you remember the employee number has to has to be the first three uh, characters has to be zero through nine and the last last two characters has to be um, between a and m so let's check the first three characters and add l will it catch uh, this error or no let's run it and see error employee number uh, first three characters must be zero to nine okay um, how about the last two characters if we add a letter that is not uh, between A and M let's say we give uh, Y and write again and see yeah error employee uh, last two characters must be between A and M so we completed uh, the assignment as instructed and um, and we got the results that we wanted um, so thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time if you like these kind of um, videos and tutorials uh, please subscribe uh, like and comment and let me know what you guys think